Hi guys, my name is Alicia and if you don't know who I am, I make thrifting videos every single week and today we're going to be thrifting by the pound at a place called Shmada Thrift Store. It's somewhere behind me here. This is the first time I've ever been here before. They actually invited me to come thrifting bright and early before the store even opens, which is super, super cool. If you've watched my channel before, you know that thrifting by the pound is probably my favorite way to thrift. I feel like it's just the ultimate way to thrift. And I always love checking out new thrift stores. So this is gonna be very exciting. So. Let's go thrifting. Okay, starting off in the shoes, they've got like a huge selection. And the first thing that caught my eye are these Lizzie McGuire shoes? How cool are these? Like, I'm pretty sure this is a kid size, but if this could fit a woman's, I feel like we definitely need to take these. Okay, this place is seriously huge. I don't know where to start. So let's just start where I normally do with the men's jeans. Everything is like really, really organized. All folded nicely. I kind of feel bad like even looking through it. Okay, we got a pair of vintage jeans that I just found. You can see that papery tag in here. They're just a little bit plain, so I probably won't take them. Then I found these ones, which are pretty cool. I love the little belt loop. They're kind of more like a baggy cargo-ish style. I wish they were a different color, but I think we'll take them for now. Okay, this vintage jacket is super cool. Made in Canada. I like the colors. I think we'll grab this too. I spy some denim. I'm always on the hunt for denim jackets, so. Okay, maybe not this. <laughs> I mean, it's a vibe, but not my vibe. I feel like at first I was really overwhelmed with like how many bins they are, but honestly they're nice and shallow, so they're super quick and easy to look through. And everything is labeled like so good, like super organized by size, by like style. So I don't think this will take too, too long. Okay, let's take a look at the women's section now. Okay, so far finding lots of good vintage, for example, this dress, which is absolutely gorgeous. Like, I love this print and it's got the ties. 100% getting this. Got some vintage garage here. I don't really like the pattern on this one, so probably not gonna take it, but still cool. Look how beautiful this Eddie Bauer sweater is. I love the print and like, look at the trim. That's so unique. It's also made from wool, so definitely gonna get that. There's tons of vintage sweaters in here. Like this one, for example, this one. Just not quite my style. This one, though, is pretty cool. Like, look at that tag. I like the colors, so maybe we'll try this one on. Wow, look at this pattern on this vintage dress. Insane. Made in USA too, which is very, very cool, but I just don't think I would be able to style this properly. Gotta appreciate it, though. Okay, making good progress. I already kind of got through this side of the store, but there's still the back of the store. So let's see if there's anything else we can find. Okay, looking through some of the women's jeans now. Look at these super cool vintage jeans that I found. I love the color of them, this like dark washed out green. Look at the brand Al Pacino. I've never seen this brand before. Super cool, definitely getting these. Why is my cart like literally all green and brown? That's so funny. Okay, thought these were pretty cool. Like, love this on the back. Don't think they're vintage though. Plus, they have like a pretty skinny leg. The yellow is quite bright, so I think I'm gonna leave those. Okay, these aren't the usual jeans I would go for because they look kind of modern with all the rips. But I think these might be like 90s vintage, like just telling by this tag. Made in Korea. And look at the back. It almost has this like Wrangler style stitching with this 
like they're not vintage vintage they've got the straight leg i just feel like these would fit really nice so i think i'm gonna get them for myself okay i've been really been into dresses and skirts lately and i just pulled out this cute little vintage one look how cute that would be I think I'm gonna get this one. Found this really cool vintage made in Canada t-shirt. I love stripes. I'm just not sure about the colors of this one. It is really cool though, so we'll put it in the cart for now. Okay, look how insane this vintage dynamite like midi maxi skirt is. Oh my god, this is awesome. Definitely like would be better for summer but 100% getting this. Okay, this skirt is insanely cool too. I love like the patchwork pattern, love the colors, the asymmetrical hem. We might have to throw it in for now too. The nice thing about skirts too when you're thrifting by the pound is that they're usually like pretty light, so you know they're really not gonna cost you much. I'm actually obsessed with the prints and colors going on in this cart right now. I've pretty much looked through the entire store at this point. My cart is full, so let's head over to Mirrors and like maybe try some stuff on and see what we're gonna get. A good sorting table. I feel like these things are for sure I'm gonna get. Hmm, okay. I honestly didn't think I was really gonna like the colors, but now that I'm trying it on, it's actually pretty cool, like even with this outfit. Okay, so I remember to bring my measuring tape and I'm pretty sure these pants should fit pretty perfectly. So I think I'm gonna get these ones. We think of this cardigan. I really like it. I like the colors and everything, but there is one more cardigan that I have to choose from. So this one, I think I know which one I like better. I think I like the other one better. Okay, this is the Eddie Bauer sweater. I think it's really cute. Like I like the colors and everything and especially that trim in the collar. Like I feel like that's very unique. Actually, don't ever pick up fast fashion or like Forever 21 like this dress, but like I said, I've been very into dresses lately and I really like the print of this one, but it is a size small, which I think is maybe too small for me. And I just noticed that the zipper is broken, so that's a deal breaker and I'm kind of glad because I didn't really want to have to deal with that. This jacket is super cool. I usually never pick up jackets like this, but I actually really like the color, so definitely gonna get this one and then lastly these boots i forgot about them let's try to try them on and see if they fit right, they definitely don't fit me which i didn't think they would but i thought i could at least try to like get it on and see how tight it is so hmm, i might have to look up like what the kid size is equivalent to a woman's Okay, with everything I decided to pick out, it ended up being 12 pounds with the shoes. And without the shoes, it brings it down to just under 10, which was my budget. So I feel like this is a sign to not get them, even though they are really cool. I feel like it's gonna be hard to figure out the sizing and stuff. I don't know. I think I made my decisions, the cart, it's pretty full, so let's check it out. All right, guys, so I'm back from Shmada Thrift Store, ready to give you guys a haul. I did want to give you guys a little bit of a cost breakdown, as you guys probably saw in the video. At Shmada, everything is $4.99 per pound. In my case, Shmada actually gifted me 10 pounds for free, which was super, super nice for them, so I didn't have to pay for anything. And out of those 10 pounds, that got me 11 different items, meaning that it would have cost about $5 per item which is super super cheap way cheaper than like a regular thrift store which is why i always talk about how much i love thrifting by the pound so i would highly highly recommend checking the place out i found a ton of cool vintage items i'm about to show you and the place was just really awesome there was a lot of space a lot of clothes i love the giant mirrors that definitely really helps when there aren't any change rooms and yeah it was just a great experience so far so let me get into the haul and show you everything that i ended up finding i think we're gonna start with skirts because i did pick up quite a few of them the first one being this one this is just this cute little vintage mini skirt. I really like this little micro plaid print it had to it. I thought that was super cute. It's mostly like a black and white with just a little hint of red. And then at the back, we just have a zip closure with a little split hem. So super cute 
perfect for fall. This one does not have any brand tags on it. All it has is this little paper tag that says made in Canada that somebody actually safety pinned it to, which I really appreciate them like keeping this on so I know it's vintage. Love this piece and I'm really glad that I found it. Okay, next up we have probably my favorite skirt that I found of the day, which is this one. It is just this midi length skirt with the coolest purple like geometric pattern to it and it just has this nice little drawstring tie waist. I think this piece is so cool and so like reminiscent of like summer 2020 era where everyone was obsessed with these really like funky prints and it definitely looks like it could be a fast fashion piece but it is in fact a vintage dynamite. I love picking up vintage dynamite. They I always find super cool pieces from them. So this skirt is like the real deal, the blueprint and I just think it's super cool definitely more of a summery piece but could not resist it the next skirt that I picked up is this one it is this really cool like green floral patchwork print skirt in a midi length with this really cool like diagonal asymmetrical hem another super unique piece and something that has also been really on trend lately you know we got the patchwork print the florals super super cool i feel like this is giving like fairy core vibes you know it just really stood out to me and it is by the brand Cafe, which I've never heard of before, and I'm really struggling to tell whether this piece is vintage or not because it doesn't say where it's made or anything. The tag is high quality, so that kind of like, to me, indicates that it's probably vintage. But I don't know, something about the material and the style, I really can't tell. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think. But either way, really cool piece. Next up, I ended up picking up this super cute dress. It is this beautiful like light green and blue floral print dress. It's got short sleeves and it is once again in like more of a midi length. The front has this beautiful like stitching detail to it, which is really cool. And then the back just ties up for that perfect fit. I love these types of vintage dresses. Dresses. I've definitely picked up my fair share in the past. So when I saw this one, immediately knew it was coming home with me. This one is by the vintage brand Chablis, Chablis, I don't know. It's made in China, but definitely vintage, especially telling from these shoulder pads, which I am probably going to be cutting out. But gorgeous, such a great find. Moving on to tops, the first top I ended up getting is this one. It is just this really fun striped basic t-shirt. We got pink, we got blue, we got orange, we got green. Such a fun like mix of colors, but this t-shirt is actually really unique because it has more of like a knitted texture to it. So I just thought it was super, super cool. It is by the vintage brand Rest and Relaxation. I've actually found jeans from this brand before, so very cool. Made in Canada, of course. So I don't really pick up t-shirts that often, but I just thought this one was really unique. Had to get it. Next, we got a couple of sweaters. The first one is this beautiful green knit one. I love the pattern to it. It's so fall, so like wintry. But like I said, in the thrifting portion, I just thought the trim on it was so unique. It's just got this little, almost like scalloped trim to it. I don't know, it's just the little things that make a piece really cool. This is from Eddie Bauer. It's made in Hong Kong, so it could be vintage. I don't know, I don't think it's that old though. And it's made from 80% merino wool. So this sweater is super, super soft and has yet to be shrunken in the wash, which is quite rare for thrifted wool. So super beautiful piece for fall. Next up, I found this cardigan. It is more of a longer fit with this really cool, like a green and brown print throughout, almost like a stripey detail. We've got fun little pockets in the front with these really nice like vintage looking buttons. I just thought this was like the perfect fall cardigan. It is by the brand Jump Clothing Co. Love that tag. And like you can just tell this is gonna be so cozy. Next up we've got a few pairs of jeans. The first ones I picked up, I'm so sad about them because this is like the only pair I was like intending to keep for myself. And even though I measured them, they don't fit me, which sucks. I think the rise is just a little bit shorter than what I normally wear, but they're just this really nice light wash blue jean with a nice straight leg. And then we got lots of rips in the front, which I really liked. At the back, we've got this really nice like brown patch. And once again, that W stitching, which I really liked. And these are from the brand Times TM, 
once again a really like modern looking type of jean but i don't know i can't really tell from these tags they might just be more of like a y2k era jean so a little sad they don't fit but that's okay we're gonna find them a new home next up we have these jeans i was definitely on the fence about them but i am glad i did decide to pick them up they're just this really nice like dark dark forest green denim jean with a high waist and definitely more of a skinny leg so not exactly what's on trend right now but i still think they're really cool they're from this vintage brand al pacino and they've just got some pretty cool details throughout like the little tab on the back another little tag on the front which you guys know i'm a sucker for so i'm glad i grabbed them then lastly for jeans i ended up grabbing these ones these are like a dark charcoaly wash of blue jeans they've got kind of like a mid or high rise with a wider straight leg at the back we've got these nice big like square cargo-esque pockets but why i really liked them was the little cool belt loop on the side so they're definitely a cross between just like a regular jean and kind of like a cargo pant which i thought was pretty cool they are by the brand yuchin jeans and once again guys let me know what you think about all these brands they're brands i've never seen before they look vintage but like i'm not too sure either way super cool and a style that's very in and then guys the very last item which might be the coolest item of the whole haul is this jacket right here it is just this really cool vintage like varsity letterman i don't know what to call it bomber style jacket in black with this really fun like turquoisey teal color on the arms it buttons up at the front and just has a little bit of embroidery that says dayton 50 not sure what that's referring to but i think it's cool and it is by the brand international denim made in canada so such a cool find definitely something i'm not normally picking up but especially in this color, but I think it's actually so fun and looks so cool. And like I said, it might be my favorite piece out of the whole haul. So guys, that is everything that I ended up picking up. Thank you so much to Schmada Thrift Store for inviting me. Like I said, I would definitely recommend checking their store out if you're in the area. And as per usual, pretty much everything you saw in this haul will be for sale on my Depop, but if you guys wanna get the best deal, definitely head to my Instagram and send me a DM there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy thrifting content, then you should definitely stick around and subscribe because I post a new thrifting video every single week. But anyways, I will see you next week.